with a little bit more confidence and just that ambition from the early ball through. This is, they pick the ball up once again, United, and just behind Memphis, Lingard throwing himself at it. Ball Herrera. Neom's clearance has caused problems. It could have been a lot worse for it. Well, he's fortunate because he completely miskicks it, slices underneath the ball, and then Herrera Gomez had to make sure that that was going over, over his crossbar for one. Ball in for Memphis, 1-0. Again, the build-up so patient from Manchester United, but this time there was an incisive finish. And if ever a man was in need of a goal, it's Memphis. He's got one inside the opening 11 minutes to well, give Manchester United the lead. Well, it is a wonderful finish from uh, Memphis, but I have to say the delivery and the quality of the ball from Herrera is quite... That brings it forward, wasn't done any favours by the pass that came into it, and still he works the opening. Couldn't hit the target. Ashley Young, a relieved man. He is relieved, but it was a brilliant. He's down with what could well be a hamstring problem, and just when you thought that the injuries and illnesses that have affected Manchester United couldn't really get any worse, it looks as though they've got another problem. Ushin has been a big one so far in this game. And it's Herrera. Is there lurking? Still the danger not clear. Nyom has only poked it. Through to a Manchester United player, and it could easily have been 2 0 as it fell for Morgan Schneidlin. But there's a couple of opportunities for Watford to clear their lines, and finally, Neom gets it horribly wrong again. It's a poor clearance, he just literally hooks it. But hooked Valencia as well earlier in his career. In fact, it was the man that gave Matter his debut. And he's come off Deeney last. And that's a goal kick. The assistant actually got this right because the ball... Yeah. Deepest of the targets inside the box. Awkward little flick towards Schneidlin. De Gea untroubled. This is the early corner. Schweinsteiger causing a problem with the flick. In. Not a bad ball in. Jones with a header away. Capu. Well, there's some fury down this right-hand side. Blind and Schweinsteiger are arguing with the assistant because they felt that that ball was out. And I think the assistant's right, it's got to go completely over that line, it did difficult time. So far, so good. Memphis! Well, Gomez's handling wasn't too assured in Watford's last game, but that was a steady enough save. Well, this is where I feel Memphis is at his best, cutting in from the left, on that favoured right foot. It's a fierce drive and... Rojo sweeps up, back from Njom, and that's the end of the first half. And Manchester United, as we get to half time, can half us. Memphis finds Lingard to chance to double the advantage. And it's a good save from Gomez, an important one as well. Yeah, and it started with a horrendous mistake by Kapur. He gave the ball away to Memphis. And as he drove forward, the better option. This is the early chance, the first of the second half for Lingard. Gomez making sure he's covering that near. Play goes on, Ake dived in, it's Phil Jones! And the deflection was a kind one for Watford in, but it took the pace off the ball. Linien is a good block because Jones is... Smalling has come wide, Igolo putting it back for Dini! Good save! When they did get a shot in on David De Gea's goal, the Spaniard was equal to it. And that was arguably Watford's best move of the game, it ends up in the corner. It certainly was, and it come from Ake getting forward. Driving the cross in, and as he comes in again from Watson, that's a better ball. De Gea, good goalkeeping corner in from Watson, flicked on by Capu. It was Igolo that threw himself at it and couldn't get the contact that was necessary. I think he got contact in, but I think it was Schneidlin who got the block. He was in the right position to deny Igolo getting that on target. It's on target, but well blocked. <laughs> Twisting, turning, but not scoring. It's a great break, and it starts with Lingard dispossessing Anya. Young getting the better of Abdi. And then just caught from behind by Ben Watson. I haven't had a yellow card in the game, but this will be the first.
And that's quite right from uh, Bobby Madley because... That's it, but Premier League game off the bench. And good to see Paddy McNair back, having... Zini keeps it alive for Watford, difficult one to defend. Back in from Amphi, and after a deflection, that's a stunning stop from De Gea. Great reaction save. Well, first of all, I've got to say, I thought it was a magnificent block from Smalling. Because this opportunity for Kapu, great block from Smalling. Although it, United don't clear the lines, the awareness of De Gea and the sharpness down to the right-hand corner. God couldn't do anything with it, and Paredes has the opportunity on the counter-attack. He didn't have too much in the way of support. And Ashley Young is uh, quick to acknowledge the cynical nature of his challenge, which will earn him a yellow card. Yeah, in a very similar fashion to Watson's one on, on Young. He knows with Paredes his pace. From Kafka, Igolo chasing, and now Dini! Straight at the hair, another opportunity they've passed up. Well, the ball's not forward. It's difficult to deal with, especially in the conditions. Igolo's a prob moment. Zamata replaced by Pereira, who scored on his fist four from Blint, and Lingard again gives chase, and he's in this time. Jesse Lingard couldn't get the elevation that was necessary, and still United. We see here the first time ball again from Blind. He knows that Lingard's going to take that chance. The timing of the run's a good one. He just doesn't get the con contact and purchase. Helped on by Dini. Igolo claiming that he was being wrestled to the ground. Referee agrees. Penalty to Watford. Inside the final five minutes of the game. And are Manchester United going to be made to pay for the succession of missed chances? Watford with a golden opportunity to equalise. Well, Dini helps. Brilliant again this afternoon. Can he thwart Dini? No, he can't. It's 1-1. It's just all about power and pace. Rojo walks away in disgust, but I think referee's got it right. Dini steps up, takes the responsibility, and he's unerring with a strike straight down the middle of the goal. Delivery flicked on, it's an excellent save from Gomez. A brilliant stop, potentially to keep a point intact, denying Chris Smalling. Yeah, Smalling with the out. Pereira. Another following, Schweinsteiger, it's in. Bastian Schweinsteiger. In off the post, on the line. Nothing the Watford could do about that. Troy Deeney had scored at one end. He's powerless to prevent Schweinsteiger's first Manchester United goal, restoring United's lead. Oh, what a big goal that is. And United had just felt they believed that they could still get something. Chance here for Memphis. On the floor, resulting in a goal of getting the shot, you can see. I think there's no doubt that Paredes is trying to throw that ball forward. He's trying to throw it into the Manchester United box. But Blin has taken one for the team now. It's Ake with a looping header. Couldn't get the contact he needed. Back in from Abdi. And Igolo's effort on target, but lack power. Well, Manchester United are looking at referee Bobby Madley because the throw-in...